91 goals in a single calendar year. Something so crazy it almost seemed impossible. But for one man, it was just another remarkable chapter in his story. Lionel Messi in what was never seen before shattered records and left the world in awe with his otherworldly goal scoring form. I know many of you are aware of this legendary year in Messi's career, and I'm sure many of you remember some of the iconic goals he scored that year. But do you really understand just how insane that is? Well, today we're going to look back at the story story of Lionel Messi's 91 goal year and see just how it might be impossible to break it. For the very few who might not be aware, in the year 2012, Messi accomplished a seemingly impossible feat, scoring 91 goals in a single calendar year. First, let's look at a breakdown of the goals he scored that year. The majority of his goals would of course come from La Liga. Messi scored 59 goals in 38 La Liga matches, followed by 13 goals in 12 Champions League matches, 5 goals in 8 Copa del Rey matches, 2 goals in 2 Supercopa matches, 5 goals in World Cup qualifiers, and finally 7 goals in international national friendlies. Add it all up and you'll get a total of 91 goals in 69 matches. And this is an insane 1.31 goals per game for an entire year. This was truly Messi's greatest form when it came to true goal scoring abilities. Because when you add in his 22 assists over the year as well, Messi would average an insane goal or assist every 52.8 minutes on the pitch. Heck, even if you do it by goals alone, Messi was scoring roughly every 66 minutes. Like, that's pretty damn unbelievable if you ask me. And to go along with his 91 goals were a total of 9 hat tricks and 7 free kick goals throughout the year. The genius level of display here is truly mind blowing. Messi really is, like today's sponsor, brilliant. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn subjects like math or computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons, from foundational to advanced math to AI, data science, neural networks, and so much more, with new lessons added monthly. And while you might not be able to become a football genius like Lionel Messi, Brilliant can help you become a genius of your own. Their playful and interactive puzzles really help to understand a lot more about science and math, especially with analytics to help me more with numbers and metrics to use in my videos. And you can learn in bite-sized chunks instead of overwhelming yourself. With their mobile app, Brilliant makes it easy to learn anytime and anywhere. Honestly, their courses are designed to make learning complicated subjects seem so much easier. So if you want to try everything Brilliant has to offer absolutely free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash RaymarFootball, click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. But anyways, some of you might be thinking, why are goals mentioned under the calendar year instead of a single season? And a great question. Because basically, the title for the most goals scored in a single year was held by the legendary Jared Muller. And it was so impressive that the entire category of logging goals throughout the year was made just because of him. Muller's 85 goals in 60 matches stood as the record for 40 years before Messi would break it in 2012. But while Muller did score less total goals, his goal scoring ratio was an insane 1.42 goals per game, and it's still the highest and most insane ratio we've seen throughout any footballer in a given calendar year. But just for a single season by itself, well, the numbers kind of go around a bit. But if you really want to break it down by season, in the 1972-73 Bundesliga season, Jörd Müller scored 66 goals and had 9 assists in 49 appearances. That gives him an absolutely ridiculous 1.53 goal contributions per game for the season. But just slightly better than Müller, was Cristiano Ronaldo's 61 goals and 23 assists in 54 matches, which was an insane 1.55 goal contributions per game in the 2014-15 season. But for Lionel Messi, it was the 2011-12 season that a majority of his goals from that year came from because Messi would score 73 goals and have 30. That is a mind-blowing one point. Even if you just look at a single season instead of a full calendar year, Messi still went absolutely insane. These numbers are just ridiculous. Like even averaging 1.5 goals a game for the whole season is incredibly difficult. These are truly some my FIFA player numbers in real life. And in the beginning of the 2022-23 season, at one point Erling Haaland was even averaging two goals per game. But fast forward to this last half of the season, and Haaland has. 32 goals and 4 assists in 32 matches. Indeed amazing at 1.12 goals per game. But 
but it just goes to show you how difficult it can be to maintain such ridiculous numbers throughout the entire season. But now comes the fun part. Let's take a look at the biggest highlights of Messi's goals in 2012. In the early months of the year, Messi was already in insane form. He was scoring goals for fun and leaving defenders in his wake, making the impossible look easy. In January 8th, Messi would score two goals in Barcelona's 4-1 win over Espanyol. Then just a day later, he would receive his third consecutive Ballon d'Or for his amazing year in 2011. And towards the end of January, he scored four goals in Barca's 5-1 win over Valencia in the Copa del Rey semifinal. Then in February, Messi scored his 200th goal for Barcelona in just his 235th appearance, breaking the previous record held by legendary striker Ladislao Kubala. In March was when things really got crazy. Messi produced a moment of absolute magic in the Champions League round of 16 against Bayern Leverkusen. He would score from an impossible angle and left the stadium speechless. And as the season continued in April, Messi scored another hat-trick against Malaga in La Liga, including a goal that left fans and pundits in complete awe, dribbling past multiple defenders and weaving in and out of their tackles before calmly slotting the ball to the back of the net. It was a beauty and proved once again why Messi was the best player in the world. And at the end of the month, Messi would be named the UEFA best player in Europe, beating out Cristiano Ronaldo and Andres Iniesta for the award. But May was where Messi really made history. On May 5, he broke the record for the most goals in a single European season, scoring his 68th and 69th goal for the campaign during Barcelona's 4-1 victory over Espanyol. As the first half of 2012 and the 2011-2012 season coming to a close, Messi had firmly established himself with his form as the best player in the world, and he was nothing short of sensational. In June, Messi scored the only goal of the game in Argentina's World Cup qualifiers against Ecuador. It was a reminder to everyone in the summer that Messi was still in form and that he was ready for the second half of 2012. And the beginning of the 2012-2013 season kicked off, Messi did not disappoint. Because in August, for the start of the 2012-13 season, Messi really hit the ground running. Messi would open up the scoring for Barcelona in the Spanish Super Cup against arch rivals Real Madrid. Then he would set up Andres Iniesta for a goal that would secure the win. And that was just the beginning, because just a few days later, Messi would score his first hat trick of the season against Real Sociedad. Over the next few months, Messi continued to light up the pitch with his incredible skills and goal scoring ability. And September was no different, as Messi continued to light up the league with a stunning performance against Getafe. He would iconically score this goal that saw him dribbling past almost the entire opposition team before coolly putting the ball in the back of the net. And October was when Messi would really start to make history. He would score a brace in the Champions League group stage against Celtic, and then a few days later, scored yet another hat-trick in a victory over Deportivo La Coruña in La Liga. It was like Messi was on a mission to break the record that year, and many were keeping an eye as he got closer and closer to Jared Miller's record. And in November, Messi was breaking records left and right. He would score two goals in Mallorca, taking his goal scoring tally for the year all the way to 85 goals, matching the previous record set by Jared Muller in 1972. Scored another brace against Spartak Moscow in the Champions League, and at the end of the month, Messi would iconically receive the Golden Foot Award. Then, on December, he scored a hat-trick in Barcelona's 5-4 win over Deportivo La Coruña, of course finishing it off with a stunning free kick to the top corner. Messi's incredible performances and record-breaking achievements earned him a place on the UEFA Team of the Year and the FIFA Pro World XI, while also being named the La Liga Player of the Year, the Champions League Forward of the Season, and the World Soccer Player of the Year. And to top it all off, was awarded the 2012 Ballon d'Or, making it his fourth consecutive time winning the award. Just the absolute peak of Messi's pure goal scoring and dribbling. If not for Barcelona losing the edge on the La Liga title race when Real Madrid decided to go insane and getting knocked out of the Champions League with Chelsea's iconic win, the 2011-2012 season for Messi would, in my opinion, be the undisputed greatest season of all time. Because you have to remember those Barcelona guys for back-to-back -back years won it all. A treble and a minor treble back-to-back -back, with their insane squad of Iniesta, Xavi, David Villa, Pedro, and many more. But just imagine if Messi scored this many goals in their treble winning year. That would just be more ridiculous than it already is. 
And of course, Messi's teammates played an invaluable role. An interesting thing that I found was that the player Messi connected with the most was not Xavi or Iniesta, but instead with Pedro and David Villa. These three on the attack were an absolute nightmare because of their skill, composure, touch, and shooting ability. The two combined have the most assists with Messi, with over a third of all Messi's goals, a total of 32 assists coming from them. I just thought that was pretty interesting. But what do you guys think? Is it the greatest season or year of all time, or have there been better ones? And let me know what you think in the comments if Messi's goal will ever be broken.